Hi everyone, it's Edo. Today I'm going to show you a few CMS updates, starting with block quotes. Here I have a CMS page for one of the Framer.com case studies. Previously, styled block quotes like this one could only be displayed outside of the rich text content. Starting from today, when you are in the rich text field of the CMS, you can select a piece of text and then click the new block quote button in the toolbar. This will create a block quote. And as soon as you go to the canvas, you'll see that some default style will be applied to it. Obviously, I can change anything about this style by going to the block quote property and clicking on edit. And then I see a bunch of properties in the pop-out. I'm starting with changing the font style and selecting a font that matches the Framer brand. And then go back to change the color, set to full white. And then going to increase the size to something like 24. And adjust also a bit the line height to 1.7. I can even go as far as editing the line style and I can change the color obviously, but also the width. I'm exaggerating here a bit to show you the radius. And I'm going back to the default because I liked it, but this is essentially how you can fully customize a block quote to your liking in Framer. Of course, now that the global style for the block quote is set, when I create a new one from the CMS, that style will be applied as well, so that all the block quotes are consistently styled. Now, let me show you another improvement we've made that has to do with images in the CMS and specifically images that are dragged and dropped into the rich text field. So up until today, when you dragged and dropped an image, you would have no control on how it looked like in the canvas. And now, if you go back to your design, you see that a new image property is added. If you click on it, and edit, you can change properties like the radius that I'm going to increment to something like 20 and also tweak the border to a white color and set that to 10%. And just like for block quotes, these properties will be applied to any image that I'm going to drop in the rich text content from now on. Also good to know is that when you select a content layer, you'll now see all the properties that are currently in use, but you can add new ones anytime under text and then clicking the plus button, where you can find things like headings or code or anchors, which is something new we just added. And this property will automatically assign anchor tags to each heading of the content. And we'll see how useful that is in a minute. First, let me change the styling to not be blue, but white. And then I'll also tweak the offset Y property to 120. Now, when you publish the page and uh, you head to the CMS content, you can click on any of the headings. And in the URL bar, you'll see that an anchor tag is assigned, which means if you copy paste the URL anywhere else and hit enter, it will go directly to that specific section. This is especially useful for documentation pages where you want to link to something specific. Now, I want to show you another feature that brings more control to repeated content, like uh, this grid of case studies at the end of my article. Now, within the repeater, I have a card for all case studies that is last, and I would like to move it as first. But if I do that today, you'll see that that specific card gets repeated for all the case studies I have in the CMS. And that's because the first item in the collection layer is the one being repeated. But Today, I can select another layer that I want to be repeated instead and choose set as collection item. So this unlocks new possibilities in which I have a different layer as first and then other ones that are repeated afterwards. Now let's head to the CMS to show you a couple more additions. 
When you view an item, fields might feel a little bit too close to each other and hard to scan in certain cases. So we made it easier to organize those and let me show you how. In the edit fields model, I'm going to hit the plus and then select divider. This will uh, drop a divider that you can drag and drop wherever you want in the list. We can add an optional title and an optional description. Let me add a couple more to show how better the item view will feel afterwards. Let me rearrange this one over here and also add a SEO section over here. Now, when I click back on an item, you really see how these dividers help in grouping all the fields and making the page feel way more organized. Now, an improvement some of you asked for, which is when you set a max length on a certain field, we now display an indicator in the item view, which updates in real time as you type in the field. This makes it easier to know when you're approaching the limit and adjust as a consequence. Lastly, I want to show you how we improved sorting. If you click on a field, it's now a little bit clearer how you can sort it. And if I select something like A to Z, the sorting is applied, but most importantly is persisted. Let me show you what this means. If I add a new item, give it a title like Vestina, and uh, fill in the other fields, when I hit save, the item will be now inserted in the correct position, respecting the order previously set. And I can change this at any moment by drag and dropping an item. And Framer will simply ask me if I'm sure I want to discard the automatic sorting and sort manually. We hope uh, you enjoyed this round of updates and there are many more to come, so stay tuned and happy building.